Hi, and welcome to this Google Classroom tutorial on assigned document permissions. Today, I am going to walk you through creating an assignment with a pre-generated Google document. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create, and I'm going to select assignment, and I will title that assignment. This assignment will be part of my welcome topic, and it will be the third document within that topic. So I will title it 0 0.3. And I'm going to go ahead and change my point value from the default 100 to ungraded. I will let my students know that this is a graded assignment, however, um, and it will be a 10 point assignment. Um, I'll go ahead and select a due date. And then let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and add a document that I've already created. And usually when I do this, it's a, a document that I've just finished up working on. So it's usually front and center and found under my recent filter. Um, if it's not, you can always search the document's title here. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and select this document. And I'm going to say insert. All right, so once I've done that, the default setting for that document is that students can view the file. So it becomes a, a static document. It's very much like a handout. Uh, there's really nothing they can do to that document. It's just information only. They can, of course, on their, on their own end, make a copy of it if necessary. The next level of permission is students can edit file. What this means is that everyone in the class, if the assignment is set to all students receiving that assignment, um, all the students in the class can edit the same document. So it's group collaboration. Um, this classroom doesn't have any students yet. So um, if it did, I could select certain students to get this document in others not to. Um, that's also a, a possibility. Um, if this is an assignment that I plan to use in more than one class, I can also select the two classes I would like this document to appear in. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this assignment to two classes. Now, what I really want with this document is that I want every student to get their own document so I'm going to select make a copy for each student. And what that means is that when my student opens this assignment, the assignment waiting for them will say Whitman and Hughes and I, but it will also have their name attached to the document. And they are the only ones that have editing permissions with that document. Um, I'll have editing permissions as well, but uh, no one else in the class will, and they would use that document from start to finish and turn it in once complete by the deadline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit assign. But actually, before I do that, I want to point out that you can also save a draft if you're not quite sure you're ready for prime time. Now, What's grayed out right now is the schedule option, and that's because I'm publishing this to two classes. Unfortunately, if you want to schedule an assignment to be pushed out, it can only go to one classroom at a time. So let me take off one of the classrooms, and now you'll see that I have the ability to schedule when I want that assignment to hit their classwork tab. But for today's purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and publish this to both classes. And I'm going to go ahead and hit assign. So you can see what this looks like. All right. So here's the new document. And here's the information. And again, each student will get their own copy of the assignment. Now, the next thing that I would like to show you is 
um, what an assignment looks like once it's been submitted. And so here is an assignment submitted by the student, Robert Steele. And as Robert Steele's teacher, I have the ability on the right side of my screen, this right side panel, I'm able to see the date and the time that the document was submitted. I can dig even further and select see history. And in the see history link, I'm able to see when something was assigned, turned in, and whether or not an assignment was unsubmitted and then resubmitted. So you can really track the document's um, activity. Now, if this right panel is not readily available for you, you're able to see this right on the very bottom right hand corner, um, the show side panel option. Okay, so there's that there for you. All right, so um, I'm hoping that you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.